Step out, step in. This weekly podcast to encourage, motivate, inspire you to step out of your comfort zone, to step in to what you have been designed for and to do. Hello, this is David Joe. Please join me this and every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my Step Out, Step In podcast, live on YouTube, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube page, like, and follow me on Facebook and LinkedIn. One more favor share and comment. Hope to see you on Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, or good morning, good afternoon, depending on where you might be watching the replay or where you might be tuning in from um, here in in Virginia, Eastern Standard Time, it's uh, 6 p.m. <laughs> and again, I'm so excited coming your way again on this Monday. And it is a joy to come your way. Uh, you know, every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I host the Step Out Step In podcast. And um, thank you for tuning in. And if you're on here, can you please share the link with at least one person? And let that one person also share with another one. And let's keep sharing as we do this together. Um, once again, thank you for tuning in to my Step Out, Step In podcast. I'm live on Facebook, YouTube, and LinkedIn. And if you're on there, um, you can leave a comment. I mean, just leave a comment and let's see uh, um, who is on here for some reason. Okay. Um, Ron Daly, thank you so much. Um, yes, I'm doing great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for tuning in. And I'm doing amazingly, wonderfully great. <laughs> and I'll put a whole lot together. And uh, so thank you for tuning in to my Step Out Step In podcast. I said every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be coming your way live on Facebook, YouTube, and LinkedIn. And uh, this is episode number 26. Can you believe that? Episode 26. Episode number 26. All right. So let me see. Let me acknowledge a few people here. If I can only, if I can see them. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, help me out um, by leaving a comment. Um, just leave a comment uh, on there. And... Let me also know where you're watching from. 
Okay, let's see here. All right, let's see who's on here. Okay. Now I am technologically challenged. <laughs> okay. All right. So let me let me go in here. Uh, just one moment. So if you can if you can leave a comment, just leave a, a comment. Just say hi. I'm um, hi. How are you? Something like that. Um, so I can um, acknowledge you. Then again, thank you, everyone. Okay. Yes, I'm doing great. Let me respond to this. Um, I... Okay. All right. All right. So. This is Monday. Today is Monday, the 24th of April, 2023. And this is episode number 26. In episode number 26, I want to talk about Motivated Monday. <laughs> motivated Monday. And uh, the question is, why Motivated Monday? And just before I do that, let me introduce myself again. My name is David. Um, I'm a person of faith, a husband and father to my wonderful biological and spiritual children. And I am your friend. <laughs> So if I'm your friend, can you share the link? If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube page yet, please do so. And don't forget to click on the notification bell so that any time I post something, you will be notified. And um, so let's get into this together. Episode number 27, 26. You know, I'm just ahead of myself. <laughs> Episode 26, episode number 26. And it is Motivated Monday. You know, Monday happens to be the first day of the work week, but the second day of the week or in the week. You know, the reason why I, uh, I decided to come up with this one was um, a couple of years ago, I was talking to a colleague of mine and he made a statement. And the statement he made was his heart skips a beat every Sunday evening when he thinks of Monday approaching. He says his heart skips a beat every Sunday evening when he thinks of Monday approaching. The reason being that he was working almost three jobs and beginning Monday was when he goes in. And at a point he said he, he didn't even get to see his kids because he leaves very early in the morning and comes back very late every Monday. And, and you know, the, uh, the beginning of the, uh, the work week is pretty, I, I, I believe that it is, um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that many people have the same feeling on Sunday evenings, because Monday is fast approaching. After the short weekend, <laughs> you know, we call it a short weekend because no matter what, I mean, we can never be fully satisfied with, even if we're given a five day weekend, <laughs> it's still going to be short. You know, the, the things you hate can certainly have an impact on you. The things you hate can certainly have an impact on you. Hating Mondays can negatively impact your emotions or it can impact you emotionally. You know, quite a number of people don't seem to like Mondays, most especially if they have to, if they have to go to work very early on Mondays. I, I, I was looking at this... Um, this publication, um, an online web MD publication, and it had been discovered that most heart attacks occur between the hours of 6 a.m. and 10 a.m. on Mondays. Most heart attacks occur occurs between 6 a.m. and 10 a.m. on Mondays. And these are people who think about going to a job they don't like, or have a job they don't have any passion for 
to meet the bosses or the supervisors or the co-workers they don't get along with. You know, as much as you hate your Mondays, you can turn it around by entering your Mondays motivated. You can always enter your Mondays motivated. And, and I want to help you. I want to help you today. I want to help somebody today. And, 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 and let, me, let me help you a little bit by breaking down the word Monday. So we want to use the word Monday as an acronym. And we want to break it down so you can always have that great expectation <laughs> when Monday is approaching. That your heart will not palpitate when Monday is approaching. That you will be excited wanting to um, get into Monday. You know. Right, so let's let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. And um, so I'm, I want to break down the, the word Monday, and I want to use that as an acronym. Let's see if this, this. All right. Okay, so. Okay. All right. So here we are. So we're going to start with the letter M. And the letter M is mission. Why mission? I want you to wake up every Monday, every Monday morning with a mission in mind, in your heart to accomplish. Now, we all, every one of us, has a mission to accomplish. And we are all on a mission, whether we like it or not. <laughs> we are all on a mission. Now, no one was born or no one was created by mistake or in error. Everybody, as long as you draw breath, as long as you have a heartbeat in your chest, as long as you have warm blood flowing through your veins, you have a mission. You were created for a reason and a purpose. You know, God took his time and made you so special, custom made you. And he, 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 he created you on, on purpose and he gave you a mission to fulfill and a mission to accomplish. Knowing that you, knowing that you have a mission to accomplish, that will keep you motivated on Monday morning, every Monday morning. Wake up knowing that you have a mission and that will keep you motivated. The second letter is the letter O. And O is be optimistic. <laughs> be optimistic. Being optimistic is about your Monday or being optimistic about your Monday will make you seize every opportunity that comes your way. I believe that there are a lot of opportunities that come our way each and every single day. But are we optimistic enough to see them and to take advantage of them? So when you wake up every Monday morning, knowing that you are beginning the work week, be very optimistic. An optimistic person sees opportunity every single day in every situation, whether good, bad, or ugly. And being optimistic will keep you motivated on Mondays. So number one is you were born on purpose and with a mission. Wake up and, 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 and identify that mission for every Monday morning, the beginning of the week. And accomplish the mission. Once you know the mission you have, you will be able to accomplish it. Number two is be optimistic. Because optimistic people, everyone who is optimistic, sees opportunity in every situation. And they see it every day. They don't see obstacles. Even if it's an obstacle, you will see the optimistic person will see an obstacle, uh, will see an opportunity in that obstacle. <laughs> 
So be optimistic. The next letter is the letter N. N means new beginning. <laughs> new beginning. You know, every week, every week, every week, we all go through our ups and downs. Everybody goes through something every week. <laughs> I don't think there's nobody who doesn't go through something. Every day, every week, every month, every year, everybody goes through something, one way or the other. Up, either it's either you're going up, you go down, or you're in between. You you're definitely going through something. <laughs> and Mondays can always be a new beginning. See Monday as a new beginning and a fresh start for everything you you might have failed in, or you failed in, or things that you weren't able to accomplish or accomplish goals, tax duties, and all that from the previous week. Because as you enter the beginning of another week, see it as a, a slate new sheet, a page that has been opened, that there are new beginnings. And once you go through that new, be identify that new beginning, you wake up every morning, every Monday morning, knowing that you have an opportunity for a new beginning. And you also have an opportunity for a fresh start every week. And that will keep you motivated on Mondays. <laughs> so, number one is have, know that you have a mission to accomplish. You're created on purpose, for a purpose, and for God's purpose. And he's, he has a mission for you to accomplish. Number two is be optimistic. Because once you're optimistic, you will see opportunities in every situation, every day. When, when people are seeing barriers, you're seeing opportunities. When people are seeing failure and um, um, other negative steps, you are seeing the positive and then you're seeing the, 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 the opportunities in every situation. And the end is new beginnings. Wake up every Monday morning knowing that you, you, you have a new beginning. That you can you can accomplish the goals that you missed, the, the 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 things that you failed in, you can go back because it's a new beginning that you can start afresh every Monday. You know, um, last week when I did the 25 quotes that I, I wrote, there's one quote in there which um, I said, the rising of the sun is an indication of a new day. Rise up with faith with hope, with new ideas, and new opportunities. So any day the sun rises, it's rising with new opportunities. So have that faith, have that hope, and step into those new ideas and new opportunities. All right, so the letter D, the letter D stands for, did I get it right? Yeah, it stands for delight. <laughs> now you have to take delight in yourself and in the day. This is somebody nobody can. This is something that nobody can click on the stars as well. <laughs> okay, so now let's see here. Um, and again, thank you for tuning in. Okay. Okay. I see my one and only on there, Nanaya Jumanjeo. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, thank you for being instrumental and encouraging for um, everything I'm doing. Okay, let's see. You know, okay, let me check on LinkedIn. Now I have my wonderful, amazing friend, um, Reverend. Um, Charles Yeboah, who also is on there. Thank you so much for tuning in. All right. So the letter A is for action. I believe that in order to achieve your goals and in order to um, accomplish um, your goals, your your tax, your um, everything, you have to take action. Action is defined as the process 
of doing something typically to achieve an aim. It is, it is defined as the process of doing something typically to achieve an aim. Having an aim will cause you to take action. So you wake up every Monday morning motivated because there's an action for you to take. There's an action for you to take because you have an aim. There's an action for you to take because you have an aim. And uh, we have the last one just before we go to the last one. I'll be right back. All right, so once again, thank you all for- Hey, this is David. I'm a pastor at All Nations Church, Virginia, located down here in all Stanford, right. Virginia. <laughs> I think I was going ahead of myself. <laughs> all right, so M is for mission. You have a mission. You create it on purpose. You have a mission to fulfill, to accomplish. Be optimistic. Wake up every Monday morning knowing that you are going to be optimistic, taking advantage of every opportunity that comes your way. You see it every day. You, it, come, it comes your way every day. Whether good, bad, or ugly, there's something in there that you can always take advantage of or you can uh, see the opportunity in it. And it's new beginnings, and you know that every Monday morning, once you you have a mission, once you're optimistic, you know that there's that is certainly a new beginning for the things you weren't able to accomplish the previous week, the things you might have failed in, the things that didn't go the right way, the way you wanted it to go. There's always a Monday, and you can always have a new beginning. The letter D is be have delight, take delight in yourself in the day. So as you wake up every Monday morning, you have that joy, you have that, um, um, you have that excitement, you have that happiness, you have that uh, uh, um, gladness, that gratification, that excitement, that amusement, because you are delighted in yourself and in your day. A is action. You take action to accomplish your goals, to accomplish your um, achievements, you have to take action. And taking action means that you have an aim. You have an aim. And the letter Y. The letter Y is... The letter Y is... Um, where am I? Okay. The letter Y is you. <laughs> The letter Y is you. Ladies and gentlemen, you are the most important person in the world. You are the most important person in the world. You know, sometimes we go places and on, on the programs and other things, we see VIPs, very important persons, and they list them down. But see yourself also as the most, the most very important person in the world. You are the only one that hears yourself more. More than anyone does. You are the only one that knows yourself more than anyone else. That is why you are the most important person in the world. So because you're the most important person in the world, you have to wake up knowing that you are unique. You are wonderful. You are amazing. You are special. And that you will keep. And that will keep you motivated on Mondays. You know, more often than not, 
people don't see themselves to be the most important person in the world. They don't see themselves to be that amazing, that special. They listen to the lies from other people. And I want to encourage you, don't listen to the lies from people because when God sees you, when God knows that you are the most important person, you are the most, I mean, see yourself as God sees you, not as other people see you. They are haters. <laughs> haters will never see anything good in you. But the God who made you know that you are good. You know, when he was creating everything, after everything, he looks at it and said, it is good, it is good, it is good. So I believe that when he created you in his image and then after his likeness, he didn't have to say it because he had already done it in his image and after his likeness, there was nothing in this world that he created that was after the image and the likeness of God except you. So you are so special. You are amazing. You are wonderful. You are unique. Wake up every morning, stand in the mirror, and look at yourself and tell yourself, oh, what a wow me, because I'm unique, I'm wonderful, I'm amazing, I'm wonderfully and fearfully made. <laughs> you know, when I go places, I tell people, um, my wife was wonderfully made. I, I, I'm fearfully made. We fulfill scripture. <laughs> yeah. And, and by saying these things to yourself, you can always be motivated on Mondays. Because you're not listening to the lies of people. You are unique. You are amazing. You are wonderful. Dr. Seuss said this, and I quote, Today, you are you. Today, you are you. That is truer than true. There is no one alive who is your than you. Says there is no one alive who is your than you. That makes you so wonderful and so amazing and so unique. You know, so be motivated on, on Mondays. Every Monday, be motivated. Be motivated by knowing that you have a mission. Be motivated by knowing that you are optimistic. Be motivated by knowing that there's always a new beginning. The fact that you failed in something doesn't make you a failure. That's the saying that goes out a bend in the road is not the end of the road unless you refuse to turn. Wake up one more time. Brush the dust off yourself. Keep your head up, chest out, chin in, and keep moving forward. You know, they, they, have you thought of it? The reason why God made our feet point forward is because he wants us to move forward each and every single day. He didn't, he didn't create us to be walking backwards. <laughs> He created us to, to walk forward, to move forward. So know that there's always a new beginning. Take delight. Let me show this a little bit. Take delight in God. Take delight in yourself. Take delight in your day. Because there, there are wonderful things in there for you. Take action. Because you have an aim, you have a purpose. And you have to take action on that. And know that you are you are than you. That makes you so special. The most important person in the world. God did not create you just for creating you. He created you because he had a purpose for you. He had, he had, he had something for you to accomplish. That is why he made you so unique. One of a kind. You know, anything that is mass produced, the value, the value of that product is not high. Anything that is custom made is so expensive. And once it's custom made, you never find another kind anywhere. 
They may be a look alike, but it's never ever the same. Have you thought of it? Even identical twins are never the same. So know that you're unique. Know that you're wonderfully and fearfully made. And I always end by saying this, the step out of every distraction and step in to being focused. We live in a generation, we live in a world where distractions have become part of us. I mean, we are distracted by so many things now. No? Our electronic gadgets, our phones, our tablets, the TV, I mean, billboards, electronic billboards and all that, everything. I mean, but you have to step out of every distraction. You have the ability to control those distractions and step into being focused. Because I know that there are unique gifts, talents, and abilities on the inside of each and every one of us. <laughs> and the world needs what is within you. The world needs it. And I always say that don't leave this world with the gifts, the talents, and the abilities still unwrapped inside you. My spiritual father always tells us that live full and die empty. So again, thank you so much for tuning in to my weekly Step Out, Step In podcast. And um, and if, uh, should I say, should I ask you to subscribe again? <laughs> All right, so if you haven't yet subscribed, please do. Um, and, and let's do this together. Share, comment, let me know. Uh, I, need, I need somebody to encourage me more by commenting on it. But when you comment, don't be too hard. <laughs> you know, don't, don't be too hard. All right, so, and, and, and you know, I have this link on, the buy me a coffee to support my podcast. It's, it's only a $5 donation. All right, so you can click on the buy me a coffee. When you look in the link, you can buy me a coffee just to support this podcast. Uh, we want to make it better. We want to improve on it. And I, I said we because we're doing this together. <laughs> and we can only do this with your help and by your help. Watch the space and I'll be back in a moment. Step Out, Step In is a weekly podcast to encourage, motivate, inspire you to step out of your comfort zone, to step in to what you have been designed for and to do. Hello, this is David Joe. Please join me this and every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my Step Out, Step In podcast, live on YouTube, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube page, like, and follow me on Facebook and LinkedIn. One more favor share and comment. Hope to see you on Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, all right, all right. So once again, thank you for tuning in. And let's see here. Let me do this real quick. Okay. Hey, this is David. I'm a pastor at All Nations Church, Virginia. Hey, this is David. I'm a pastor at All Nations Church, Virginia, located down here in Stafford, Virginia. I want to personally invite you to worship with us this Sunday. When you get here, you'll find a welcoming family. You'll participate in our uplifting praise and worship songs. You'll also hear a Christ-centered dynamic message. We are a church to come discover where we are restoring people and releasing their potential by connecting them to God. And we are located at 1449 Courthouse Road, Stafford, Virginia, and the zip code is 22554. We'll see you this Sunday at 2 p.m. All right, so just a summary of it. If you're looking for a Bible-believing 
um, family oriented church. Uh, we want, I want to personally invite you. Um, the address that was posted, 1449 Courthouse Road, Stafford, Virginia, at 2 p.m. every Sunday. Okay. And I also want to introduce my spiritual father, Dr. Franco Fuso up here. Um, every Tuesday on YouTube and Facebook, um, he hosts this live um, show, The Ambassador of Hope. And these are Destiny Shapen. And I, I bet you it will help you. I mean, I know people pay lots of money to go listen to you um, and, um, and, and follow him on Facebook. Like his page and follow him on Facebook. And um, he's doing the... Um, he's doing the Manage Your Life series. This, this is so amazing. I mean, you can afford to miss it. And um, I also want to share this with you. I mean, anything that is uh, worth sharing is good. And um, mark your calendars from July 19 to the 23rd. This is our flagship uh, leadership training in um, in Atlanta. In, in this is this is um, it's it's organized by our, our bishop at All Nations Carries House in Loganville, Georgia from the from Wednesday, July 23rd. I'm sorry, Wednesday, July 19th to Sunday, July 23rd. Mark your calendars and for more information and registration, you can go to www.advancedlife.org www.advancedlife.org all right, so thank you so much. And all too soon, we have come to almost to the index. And I want to thank every one of you for spending your time on here. I trust and believe that the time we spend here is never going to be wasted. But at least we can get something out of it and we can share with somebody else. Um, again, uh, please subscribe if you haven't yet done so. Comment. Don't forget to click on the notification bell and um, and share. Share with somebody. If you happen to watch the replay and share. Share with somebody. If you happen to watch the replay, please leave comments. Um, ask questions. I think one of these days I'll open it up for Q and A to ask questions. I haven't really thought about it yet, but we'll see how it goes. All right. So again, thank you for tuning in to my live Step Out Stepping podcast on YouTube, Facebook, and LinkedIn. And um, let's connect on Mondays at six p.m. and watch the space. Until we meet again, have a wonderful, amazing fruitful and a productive week and again this is david joe and i say goodbye i love you and there's nothing you can do